Well guys, welcome back. Time for part four. So everybody's been following part one, part two, part three. Thank you. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, like I said, it's been a really, really fun build for me. I've definitely learned a lot. So anyways, let's just get to it. Uh, for anybody that that hasn't seen part one, part two, part three, uh, you know, just go down in the descriptions. I'll, I'll link all the videos down there uh, so you can get all caught up or just watch this one. Um, it's all, definitely up to you. But anyways, so we got our arrows. Uh, we got our fletching on. We wrapped it with sinew. We built the shafts. We treated the shafts. Now the last piece of the puzzle is going to be uh, the heads. Now I'm going to run three different heads just because I just want to see um, how each of them uh, works. So on this one, this is my first arrow. I'm actually going to be running no head. I'm just going to sharpen the point and I'm going to fire harden it. Now in a survival situation, if I was to build an arrow uh, in the bush, this is what I would do. I would honestly just put this to a point and I would fire harden it and that's what I would use. Now, I've roughed out a couple uh, arrowheads. So this is my smaller one. And then I got one that's a little bit bigger. Now, I know in my first video I said I was going to do this out of 012 steel, but I did not. I made this out of mild steel. Uh, I want to just see how these flew, which ones worked better. And then for my good arrows, I will definitely build them out of 01 tool still because I'll be able to harden those. I'll be able to sharpen those and then hopefully kill something with those. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'll be deer hunting with these. Uh, I don't even know if that's even legal. I have to look at the rules. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put a proper broad head on the end, which whatever. Uh, but hoping I can uh, land a grouse in the fall. Anyways, with, a per with, with something I built myself. So anyways, let's get started. Uh, like I said, this one's going to be easy. I'm just going to go right now, go to the grinder. I'm going to put a point on it. We're going to take our torch, heat it up, fire harden it, and that's going to be it for this one. Okay, so just take the heat. Warm it up real nice. I've already done this a couple times, so I just want to show you guys. Now all I do is take the tip and I rub it like this, and it'll hard it nicely. So there I go. That's it. So in a survival situation, honestly, this is all I would do. I would just sharpen up a tip, fire harden it, and away we go. So that's the first one. Now let's get on to attaching some arrowheads. Pretty excited about that. So anyways, there she is. I just, uh, I tapered this end a little bit, just took some meat off, and I gave it two little cutting surfaces. Now, I did get a little bit too hot. If this was O1 tool steel and I was trying to make this hardenable, I wouldn't have let it get that hot, but I just wanted to throw something together to see how it flies. So, I'm just going to go attach this and we'll go from there. Sinews already chewed it. go 
So now we just gotta let that dry, and then we'll let it fly. Hopefully she doesn't break right away. But yeah, pretty pump. Well, it's the moment of truth. Um, I did break one arrow. I didn't have any patience, and I shot this one, and I missed my target. So they are not very strong. So I'm a little worried about the two with the arrow arrowheads. And then I also had a uh, catastrophic failure. Aurora snapped. She snapped clean off, so... I was curious to see how long my PCV bow was going to last, and it lasted me about 800 arrows. It's a little sad, but I have another one, my first one I, I made, so that's what I'm going to use to shoot. And I guess we'll see what happens. This might be the one and only time I shoot these arrows. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go uh, heavy arrow first. Now for the lighter arrow. So, there's my first two shots. It almost seems like the heavier arrow went knock right a little bit, but uh, that would definitely definitely hurt. That's for sure. Oh. Oh. So I got some work to do. So obviously, I didn't let that dry long enough, but, <laughs> you know, I might even uh, make that groove a little bit deeper and these ends a little bit better. Oh well, learning experience, right? Alright guys, so I didn't want to really leave it with uh, some failed arrows, so I did uh, modify this one, well fixed it, so I did recess my arrow tip in more and ended up sealing the sinew actually with uh, head cement now head cement is a it's a sealer that that fly tie guys uh, use to seal the heads of the flies this one is actually uh, UV reflective so you can see I don't know if you can see it on there but it actually shines a little bit so anyways I'm gonna put this uh, down range gonna do a couple shots with it and see how it performs I also I want to show you guys, I did build a new bow. Uh, this is not going to be my bow though. This is for my little sister. I built this for her birthday. It's my first recurve. It draws about uh, 32 pounds. Doesn't shoot too bad. I definitely enjoy the horse bow a little bit more. I got another design for a modified long bow that I'm going to try. And uh, yeah, so let's put this uh, arrow down range, see what happens. They flew, they didn't snap. I mean, in a situation where I had to throw something together, um, I could, you know, that's a great feeling. So that bow I made, these arrows I made, it flew, flew pretty straight. So I'm pretty happy. So to anybody, to everybody that's been, that, that's followed all four parts of this, you know what, thank you very much, you rock. Um, that was definitely fun, a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really enjoying uh, learning more about uh, this primitive building. I mean, I am the Prairie Mountain Man, so i got to kind of live up to that name, right? So anyways, thanks for, for uh, joining along. And again, if you, if you like that, that build and you like the rest of my content, feel free to subscribe and follow me along. Got a lot of uh, fun stuff coming up, and I'm always uh, learning and pushing and trying new things, alright? So anyways, thanks again. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.